Hey everyone, it's Duke here at Developer Inspirus. Today we're going to talk about UI slider, and here is our app so far. Okay, you will learn how to build this UI slider in code, and you can see that we customize it a little bit, and maybe it is the thing that you want to build in your app. Now, this is not the best combination of colors and customization, but just for the sake of demonstration, I want to show you that you can customize a UI slider. Okay, so go right down the link right below and download the starter project or go to developerinspirus.io and download this starter project. Okay, so in the starter project, I include two images with different size for the iPhone. So let's go right into view download and um, view controller and learn how to use a UI slider in code because in in this series, encode is the way we go and we can understand what is it behind everything that we use in the main storyboard. And as you as you learn about these things, you will feel very confident and it's just only the matter of dragging out elements inside of the main storyboard, making some outlets and control drag into the functions. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I will have a UI slider. So I will do var slider, which is UI slider. Okay. And if you do it in those uh, main storyboard, maybe you want to have an IB outlet here so that you can customize it. Or you want to have a uh, target action instead of you uh, programmatically add a target action into this. You will control drag and then have a target have an action, right? All right. So let's go to view the load, and I will do slider equals UI slider, and I will have the frame, which is CG right, make, and let's say 100, 100, 200, and 23. Okay, 23 is the height of this because it is kind of like the, it is kind of like the standard way that you have the height 23. All right. And then I want to make this slider center in the center view, in the center of the view. So slider dot center equals view dot center. Now, the next thing you will notice in UI slider that we have a minimum and maximum value, and we also have the current value in this value. So let's do this. I will have slider slider dot minimum minimum value equals zero and this is a float okay and we have slider dot maximum maximum value equals 100 all right so the next thing is maybe we want to set the default value by default the default value of the slider meaning that this thumb right here this is called the thumb or the knob, right? Is zero, but I don't want it to be zero. So maybe I want it to be um, a half, a third of the way. So I could do slider dot value equals maximum maxi. What did I do wrong? wrong. Maximum. Uh, I'm sorry. Slider dot maximum value over three point zero. Okay, and then. It's just we will have to add this as a sub view of the view. So slider and to remind you UI slider inherits from UI control and UI control inherits from UI view. So a UI slider is also a UI view. So you can add it as a sub view of the view. That's why. Okay. And it's also the reason why. Let me go to main storyboard. Okay. So it's also the reason why, let's go with the slider. You click into the slider and over the attribute inspector, you will see that you have the slider the first, meaning that this is UI slider. And then down below it, it is control, meaning that it is UI control. The UI slider inherits from UI control. And then the UI control beneath it is UI view, meaning the UI control inherits from UI view. So it's structured in that way, okay? So let's go back. All right, so 
let's run this on to see what's going on here. Okay, you see here is our slider, right? And this is the, the one that we drag out in the main storyboard. So let's delete that. All right, so let's have a target action into this so that as the value of this changes, we get noticed, okay? And I will add a target action pro programmatically, slider dot add target at target and target itself action is let's say slider value change and then don't forget the colon okay the ui control event is dot value change okay and let's implement the slider value change right down here funk slider value change and we have the standard which is a ui slider okay and then maybe maybe we want to just print out the the value in right down below or actually let's have a label over here okay somewhere over there so i will check our label okay right in the middle and maybe let's make this 30 okay like that and default is zero maybe let's do it 45 44 okay let's make it big all right like that okay and then i will very simply do center horizontally and center vertically like that okay and then i will have a connection with this ib outlet and i i will have an ib outlet for this Control, no, control drag from the label to this called um, maybe slider value label. Okay, UI label and connect. All right, let's go back to view controller. Okay, so as this changes, I will do um, slider value label dot text equals a string, and this is just sender dot value because the value is sender is a ui slider is actually our slider over here and in this ui slider we have a property called value it is a float it has the value to be pinned to max and min okay so let's run this okay all right so as I changes this, you will see that this changes very quickly because this slider, as you drag the thumb like this, the value will continuously, continuously changes. All right. All right. So it makes now you learn how to how to have the the you you learn how to have this value like you can get the target action of a slider right so what if what if in your app you don't want it to update this continuously well i would do something like this over down here i would do um slider dot continuous equals false like that and let's run this okay and then as i scroll this slide this as i release it, it nothing happened but if i release this thumb then it updates the value like that like this okay makes sense okay now we can also change the thumb image which is this circle over here so let's write a function for that change thumb image okay and then i will copy this one and right down here, I will write this function called func change thumb image like that. And then, um, because we it is a UI slider, and so let's get back to the uh, header file and see that what method we have. So we have the set value, which is um, straightforward. 
we also have the set thumb image. We have the thumb image for state, okay? And because the set thumb image, we can specify the state also. So maybe that's why that's the thing we want to use. All right. So let's do slider dot set thumb image, and for the thumb, we do UI image named, and this is thumb normal, okay, and this will be UI control state dot normal, okay, and then slider dot set thumb image UI image named um, thumb highlighted meaning that when we touch it, right? And for stage, it could be dot highlighted. Highlighted, right? And I think I have an extra HT here. All right, so let's run this. Yeah, you will see that as as we, we have a new thumb image here and as I touch it, it slightly, slightly changes like that. Okay, it's just the shadow of this. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is we can change the slider mean and max color. So we do func change change slider mean max color. Meaning, what I mean is. This is the mean color, right? And this is the max color, meaning that the color approaches max. This is the color approaches mean. So I would do slider dot mean minimum track color. I'm sorry, tint color equals maybe we want to have a blue color. UI UI color dot blue color. And we also have the minimum maximum track team color equals UI color let's do it black color okay maybe let's have this one as green that's green color all right oh I forgot to call this one so I will call this in a view did load like that and let's run this all right you see that we changes this one and as released we have a new value just like this right i hope that you have been enjoying this tutorial leave me a comment or question below and i will be reviewing comments and answering questions personally if you want free ios courses visit me at developerinspirus.io create an account and join our free courses until next time go out there learn new things create new products and contribute to the world.